So this is uh, the pirate game. The playground split into a white line all the way down there and a white line across here. So it's split into four quarters. Uh, I've just put down the coloured cones to just denote there what pirate ship is what. In each pirate ship, you've got a big hoop and a small hoop. Sorry, blurry. So you can see the small hoop there has got five bits of coloured treasure in. And the big hoop there is the dungeon. So clearly Kezia in the green has come across from her ship. A blue has tagged her and then she goes into the dungeon there. To free someone from the dungeon. Let's see if someone tries to do it. That's what Nathaniel's doing. He has to get to Kezia by being free. And then he has to lock his hand up with hers. I'll show you this in a minute. And then they get to walk back to um, their own pirate ship. Three, two, one, go! Giving the groups short bursts to talk in their teams and think about tactics and teamwork is really important in this game. It also allows them for that social interaction to really occur. Oh, double save. Clever. Couldn't say you can't do that. With all of the games for understanding unit as well, you have to be really careful in your explicit teaching, your explicit rules and what your expectations are. So you've also then leaving or allowing gaps for them to be creative. My overriding rules are always as long as you're safe and as long as you're kind, you can be as creative as you want. That then gives you time to sort of deviate away from the game if need be, but then also have time to come back, talk as a group and maybe discuss rules that they want to put back in or tactics that they need to do to um, combat maybe things that are occurring. There are a million and one games that you can do um, around games for understanding. They can be simple, they can be complex, but actually whenever you do the rules, I always start at a really basic level to allow them to be creative. The reason I do this is, and I share this with them, is to create chaos and conflict. Do you remember you said someone's taken Two at a time. Mm. Two bits of treasure. No, Are they allowed to take two bits of treasure? Mm. Boom. Thank you, Nathan. I never said you can't. So if you're stealing two bits of treasure, that's fine. There's no rule at the moment of how many bits of treasure you can take.